Yeah, I was um, I was thrilled to see the number of, of different uh, personalities and backgrounds that they brought together and, and I think it's really contributed to a very healthy exchange of ideas uh, to a more thorough and in-depth understanding of, of some of the issues that uh, that many of us maybe had only touched on the surface and uh, uh, and, and it also strengthens relationships across community, not just those of us that are a part of uh, the, the security practitioner community, but those that are part of the uh, diplomatic core of their respective nation and, and uh, universities and uh, et cetera. So I, I've, I've been absolutely impressed and, and thrilled and very humbled to be a part of this, uh, this particular dialogue. Morocco is is a um, very strategic ally of the United States in, in all respects and we have a, um, a tremendous security cooperation uh, uh, relationship with Morocco uh, as evidenced recently by their uh, F-16 deployments which were purchased through a foreign military sales program uh, to the Middle East and, and in fact they're still deployed there so um, in, in all senses of a strategic relationship as we define it uh, Morocco is certainly uh, one of the partners that we very consistently turn to um, and we, we have great strength of relationship with Morocco. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm, I'm certainly not a diplomat, and so uh, much of uh, what you're talking about in terms of relationship between the two, uh, we, we leave to our diplomats and our, our politicians. Uh, but uh, we do enjoy a relationship uh, with both countries, and, and uh, we look for common ground that can benefit the strategic relationship toward uh, uh, ultimate uh, strategic goals that, that collectively we share. And so um, we, we do also partner uh, with Algeria and, and look for ways to do so, uh, again, toward the regional good uh, in a bilateral way, uh, but also with, with common strategic objectives in mind. Yeah, well, we, we, we share a, a great partnership with the French in the region as well. Um, and in terms of uh, external uh, actors uh, and external influences, we really look to partner with the French to the max extent possible. And there's many cases of, of us doing that. Uh, I, I think the G5 Sahel is a good first step. Uh, opening communication, improving coordination uh, I, is sure to yield positive results. It's in its infancy, it's going to need time to grow, and it's going to need international support to do so. And the U.S. plans to be a part of that international support. Um, but similar to what we saw with the multinational joint task force in, in, the, um, in the Lake Chad Basin re region, uh, we believe that this increased cooperation, um, uh, standing up of headquarters to, to help to coordinate uh, operational military activities in the region uh, is a positive first step. We are, we are looking, uh, first and foremost, we want to make sure that the force protection for anyone that we would send into the region uh, is sufficient. And uh, so we're looking at the force protection piece first. Uh, beyond that, we are looking to, to potentially provide uh, military uh, planners um, to the headquarters in Severe that would help them to establish uh, uh, their campaign planning, help them to establish their command and control in, in other kinds of functions that are expected of a, of a military headquarters. So um, I'm hesitant to comment on ECMOG because again, it's, uh, it's, it's, it is, it's really outside my lane. But uh, what I would say generically is that where we have opportunity to team 
uh, with regional entities and, and also with the AU as well, we look to strengthen those relationships and we feel that there is, there is a role for regional organizations and we've heard a lot about that in this dialogue during this conference and, and some of the positive steps that are being made via the regional organizations. So uh, certainly from an Africa Command perspective, we're very supportive of, of regional organizations and, and we, um, we look for ways that we can better team with those in terms of regional security in particular. So maybe this gets back to, to your previous question, Sabine, where you had asked about what we can do in terms of uh, uh, helping militaries. And so um, we, we don't look at military operations from a U.S. Africa Command perspective as being the decisive effort. Our military opera operations, um, which are uh, m commonly done in a by, with, and through way, so by our partner nation, with our assistance, usually in a train, advise, assist, sometimes equip way, uh, and then uh, through partnership with other uh, concerned parties, as we described previously, France, for example. Um, but our decisive effort really is about building partner capacity, uh, capability, and strengthening relationships. And there's many ways that we do that. We do that through security force assistance, which consists of training, advising, accompanying sometimes the forces with which we're partnering, keeping them out in front in the byway that I just described. Uh, uh, we also do it through uh, equipping programs. We do it through uh, education programs. Our, our or, uh, uh, international military education training. We do it through assistance with professionalization of, of uh, their forces uh, and we do it through defense institution building where we look for opportunity with a willing partner to help to strengthen the institutions which is really a critical part of security cooperation. Uh, lastly, uh, uh, through exercises, through especially the multilateral exercises that we're able to pull together uh, with the many partners that, that both want to be a part of that but truly value what they get out of it in terms of the training and the increased interoperability. Uh, so those are, those are just but, but a few ways that we look to strengthen the militaries that we're, we're working with and that applies to, to AMISOM as well and, and our partnerships with the uh, troop contributing countries that are part of AMISOM. Thank you.